What's up everybody, Pete here from the Sunday Drive. Today we're gonna to be showing you how to replace the boost pipe on your F10 5 Series with an FTP boost pipe, so stay tuned. So like I said, we're replacing this old plastic boost pipe with this nice new aluminum FTP two-piece boost pipe with a coupling in between. So it should be a little bit easier to install than the old one is to remove. And we're gonna be doing it on this 2011 F10 535 with the N55 engine. This will probably be applicable from 2011 to 2015. So let's get started. To kick things off, we're gonna start removing things from the engine bay. Interestingly enough, most things are already removed from this engine bay. I'm gonna overlay a picture of a normal 5 Series engine bay so you can see what might already uh, be missing. But uh, to give you a recap, there's plastic on either side that's held down by push pins. And there's gonna be these bars that go from the uh, strut mount to the front metal piece. So you're gonna need to remove those as well. And then you can start removing this radiator support. So the rad support is held in by some T40s and some T30s, so we're gonna go ahead and remove those first. Also, up here in front, you'll notice that there's a missing bolt, and that is a T30. So once again, I'm gonna put a picture here so you can see what it looks like. So this car has been daily driven and has seen the elements. as you can tell by the sounds of these bolts. You're gonna remove these four T40s from the rad support. Next up, we're gonna remove the four T30s along the front, and these actually connect to the hood latch system. And on this car, we'll only be removing three of them because one is missing. So before we figured out that removing the fan and the rad support was very helpful for the boost pipe, it was a job that we really hated doing. Uh, honestly, it gave us nightmares. So doing this can save a lot of time. I know it seems like more steps than necessary, but it's well worth it. And there's also two more of those T30s at the very front. Now this will come out, but there is a hood latch cable clipped into the bottom of this. So you're gonna wanna make sure that you clip those back in when you reinstall this. And now you can see the fan. So the fan has an electrical plug on the passenger side that you're gonna need to remove down here. The plug can be released by squeezing this lever here, like that. There's two clips on either side so you can actually pry them out with a screwdriver. Right, so you're gonna push it towards the front of the car and you're gonna do that on the passenger side as well. So go ahead and go ahead and push that in and then just pull up on the fan, come over on the passenger side and do the same. And as always, whenever you start messing with electrical connections, you wanna make sure that you disconnect the battery and now just Wiggle it out and be careful not to damage anything else. So this is the fan removed. Once this is out, it gives us a lot more real estate to mess around down there and it makes the boost pipe job a lot easier. While we're in there, we're gonna be replacing the diverter valve with a turbo smart. And uh, it's probably the best time to do it, to be honest, because we're gonna have the most space. Otherwise, it's a tight fit. So now that the fan's out, you can actually see the boost pipe on the passenger side and that red hose is part of the boost pipe. It's nice that that red hose is there because you can actually kind of squeeze the boost pipe together to remove it. So what we're gonna have to do now is undo that clip on the intercooler side and then come around on the passenger side. You'll see another clip that's going up to the turbo. So obviously you can get to this one from the top you may be able to remove this clip from the top as well, but it might be easier to get to from the bottom. To remove this underbelly pan, you're gonna to have to remove a bunch of eight millimeter screws along this. This car does not have the eight millimeters along the front, so just go ahead and remove the four eight millimeters along the front. There should be two on the sides, 
And then, yeah, you'll see them as you're going. So I'm gonna remove what's left of this belly pan. So we're under the car now, and this is on the passenger side of the intercooler. As you can see, there's the red from before, so this is the boost pipe. Now what we have to do is remove this clip that's holding the pipe onto the intercooler. So you can get a pick tool behind this. Now I already have this kind of half released, but you get a pick tool in here and a screwdriver together, and you can pry it out like so. And there you go, you can see that the clip is released. Okay, so I broke one side of the clip free. So as you can see, we've removed the clip and you actually can use pliers like this because you're not gonna be reusing the old one to pull down on it and break this plastic clip that wraps around the top of the pipe off. Unclip the turbo side of the boost pipe and as you can see, we have access to it here. So you're gonna need a screwdriver and a pick tool There you can see the clip is free. And there's the clip removed from the boost pipe on the turbo side. With both clips removed, I'm gonna try and pull the boost pipe off of the turbo side. And since that red pipe or tubing is part of the boost pipe, I'm actually like pushing it, the pipe into itself. It's compressing a little bit. And that is off of the turbo and pull off the intercooler side. So it started coming off. Now I just have to finagle this out of the car. And there's the boost pipe removed. So with the boost pipe removed, it'll give us a lot more space to change the diverter valve. So we're gonna go ahead and do that next. And here's a comparison of the new boost pipe versus the old one. As you can see, the FTP one just looks great and is made out of aluminum versus the old plastic one. Now, before you install the new one, you have to make sure that you swap over the gaskets that are inside of the old boost pipe. So there's one on either side and you can get it out with like a pick tool, but just make sure you don't damage it when you're extracting it. All right, now be sure that you reuse the smaller of the two gaskets on the new boost pipe because it does not come with one, as you can see in here. So to install the boost pipe, we're gonna start with the shorter section of pipe. This actually gets installed to the intercooler and you're gonna to wanna to use the larger of the two clips to fasten that on there. And you're gonna look for the smaller of the three slots, and that's where the middle of the clip's gonna go to. So go ahead and install the lower portion of the boost pipe onto the intercooler. And we're just gonna leave the clip off for now so that we can rotate this around and figure out exactly how it's supposed to sit when we install the rest of the boost pipe. We're also gonna slide these clamps onto the lower portion of the pipe so that we can slide them over the coupling uh, later. Now we're going to install the coupler and the top part of the pipe. So we're going to slide this up from the bottom and attach this to the turbo. All right, so just work the pipe through here. and rotate the pipe around until you are able to get it onto the turbo, like so. And install your clip. Now go ahead and slide the coupler down onto the bottom part of the pipe. And we use a lot of silicone paste on these because it makes moving these things down or around a lot easier. And it doesn't affect anything in a negative way. So we'll have that link down below. It's not cheap, but it is awesome to have. All right, so get the clip started. As you can see, it's 
in the grooves, but it's not fully seated, so we're going to actually rotate this around until it clips fully in, like so. And now the pipe is fully seated. And go ahead and tighten these clamps down on the coupler so that nothing comes disconnected. I'm using an eight millimeter socket, and I have the screws facing down from the bottom as that gives plenty of clearance to tighten these clamps. And there you go, that is how you install the boost pipe, also known as the turbo to intercooler pipe on your F10 5 Series BMW with the N55 engine. As always, the parts in this video will be linked in the description below. And if you found this video to be helpful, please give us a big like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.